This is Matthew Robinson with the Finnick Technology Group and in today's video we will be installing VMware tools from the command line on it onto a Nubuntu 12.04 server. So to start we want to pull up our virtual host. In this case I'm going to be working with VMware Workstation if you're using vSphere client. The steps are a little bit different but we will um, go through those steps also. So if you're using VMware Workstation you want to click make sure your guest is selected and then click VM and then go click install VMware tools if you're using the vSphere client let me pull it up real quick for you you want to select your guest go to inventory virtual machine guest and then install upgrade VMware tools and then at this box you can go ahead and hit OK okay at this point you want to go ahead and log into your server if you aren't already I actually have it pulled up here on a putty console um, using SSH just because it makes it easier for me to copy and paste but once you're logged in the first thing we need to do is make sure all the packages are up to date and upgraded so we'll do that with the apt-git update command and you do have to run it as a sudo user and if you haven't logged in as um, sudo yet it will prompt you for your password so go ahead and put that password in the next step we want to run is the upgrade command so we'll do apt-git upgrade and I've already upgraded it um, before this video so all my packages are up to date. Yours will most likely take a little bit longer so you may want to pause right here and just wait um, for your computer to catch up with us. There is one package that we'll have to use to compile and it is called um, Build Essential. So if you don't have that installed yet we will want to install it. The command for that is um, sudo apt-git install and then just type in build essential so just like it shows right there on the screen hit enter and then we can just take this default of yes and this will just take just a little bit to to load up and why this is installing just so everyone's aware if you go out to my blog finicktechnology.com slash blog there is a printable walkthrough of the steps here and then there's also some other stuff you might want to check out Okay, so once it completes, the next thing we want to do is create a directory in order to mount the CD-ROM to it. I'm going to create the directory inside the, the media folder, and I'm going to call it CD-ROM. So the command would be sudo mkdir front slash media front slash CD-ROM. So once that's typed, go ahead and hit enter and you'll notice on mine it says it cannot create because the file already exists you most likely will receive the same message if not then it should have successfully created the the folder anyway so you should be good to go now we want to mount the virtual CD-ROM into that directory so we'll use the mount command so that command is sudo mount space front slash dev front slash CD-ROM and then put another space and then this is the location we're going to mount it to which is front slash media front slash cd-rom so once that's typed go ahead and hit enter and it right here it's telling us that it has mounted a read-only write protected drive which is perfect so now we want to move the um, the tarball that is inside that directory to a new location called temp so we'll use the copy command so this cp command is the copy command and what we're doing is we're copying 
anything that starts with capital VM where and ends with a period TAR period GZ that's located in this media CD-ROM so we'll go ahead once you have that typed go ahead and hit enter and now once it completes we'll go to that new temporary directory we we move that file to so we'll do CD front slash temp and now if we do a list command we can see that file that we just moved so now we need to extract that so to extract it we'll use the TAR space XZVF command and then um, just type in in capital letters VM lowercase letters WARE star dot GZ and what this does is it will extract anything that starts with the capital VMware and ends in the period GZ. So once that's typed, hit enter. And it'll take just a second for it to run through. And when it finishes, it actually creates a new directory inside that same folder called um, VMware-Tools-Distrib. So let's go ahead and change our directory to that new location. and now we'll run the list command ls and these are the files that are located inside that directory the file we're going to compile is called um, vmware-install.pl so to compile that we'll do sudo Here, let me just paste it in for you so sudo space period front slash vmware-install period dl and notice on mine I have this switch here at the end um, dash D which will just take all the defaults and won't prompt you for user interaction so it's probably 95 percent of you will want to keep the defaults anyway but if you want to see what it's installing and you want it to prompt you for a response just take the switch off I'm gonna leave it um, just for the video because I actually want to keep the defaults anyway so hit enter and now it'll start compiling and this takes a, a couple minutes depending on the speed of your server I'll let it run through just so you can compare it to yours
and that's all there is to it. So enjoy everyone. Thanks.